What's the advantage of the shorter wheelbase on a pepper? It's huge, Richard. I don't understand. But it's huge. Watch this video with Dan Shrimp Love. You'll understand. Let's go. What's going on guys? I'm back from the GIE and I was very fortunate to have the time to spend some time with the uh, folks at uh, Permagreen. I've, I've always loved their products and I've been impressed with uh, meeting Dan and talking with him on the phone and I've met him a couple different places, but uh, I got to meet what I felt like was more of the Permagreen family at the GIE. And I, I got to meet uh, Tom and Dan and Jason and all the guys and girls that they have brought up there fantastic people man it uh it makes you feel good to do business with a with a real family oriented company and they 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 really are it's a tight-knit group and i was super impressed with how when someone who was already a perma green customer would come up to the booth they knew who, who who they were and know them by name just, just about every time and it, it, that's just special you don't have that anymore in uh in this kind of product it's a lot of competition out there now in the spreader sprayer market, but uh, everything I saw, the permagreen is still the best. Just perfect simplicity. Dan's gonna take you through and show you a couple of the uh, changes for the uh, 2020 over the 2019. And uh, again, I thank the people so much at permagreen for allowing me the time to uh, spend a little time with them and uh, get to meet with some of their customers. And it, it was a real blast and a real eye opener for just how, how family oriented and tight knit that the group at Permagreen is. So watch Dan, he's gonna tell you all about it. I gotta, I gotta coach him too first. All right, here's Dan. What's up, I'm here with my buddy, Dan the Man Ship Love Everyone. at the Permagreen booth. Dan is the ultimate expert on the Permagreens. He's gonna run through the changes from the 2019 to the 2020. All right, I'm gonna flip it around so we can let Dan explain the differences. Dan. All right. Come on, Dan, explain so, the differences. All right, so uh, we got uh, nothing major as far as the 2000. No, it's major. Okay, it is major. It's a good improvement. But uh, what we did from the 2000, uh, 2020 to 2019 is we actually moved up the wheelbase here, as you can see. And we did this in 2017 as well, where we moved that up so you get a tighter turning radius. But we took it one inch further, so it's gonna have an even tighter turning radius on that, so guys can maneuver around the properties a little bit better, you know, get around the landscaping, get around the trees. So it's definitely by far the most maneuverable permabean that we've had. I'll vouch for that. Yeah. Even my old one is super duper yeah. Yeah. Paul can You can see that. the difference in the wheel movement up toward the front on the silk wheel. Yeah, and it's just to get you a better idea here. Oh, look, look, look at that. That's tight, people. Turning race, yeah, it's pretty good. And, you know, we've made, I'd say over the past two or three years, we've made some really solid changes. We've got the wheel weights on there for better traction. Uh, we also, of course, added the world-famous Permagreen agitator. Breakthrough storm, folks. Yes, indeed. And that's going to help you with your clogs. Prevent the clogging. More deflector. Show them the uh, bouncy uh, hood on it. Okay, yeah, this is the hood shaker. We've actually had this for a few years. But anytime that throttle's engaged, this is going to be circulating around. It's going to hit the striker plate and it's going to shake that hood. It's going to keep that hood nice and clean, keep that fertilizer away from the inner workings of the machine. So, a nice little feature there. And you know what? I don't think a lot of people know about this, but this is a double-sided platter. So if one side wears out, you can flip it over and use the other side. Yep. Kind of one of those, why didn't we think about that before type deals. Yeah. Um, and then also, one more thing. If you check out that deflector. Oh, it's angled, then, angled now. Yeah, so it cuts Do off that, that again, panel. So I can get it in yeah. action. We get some more deflector action going Oh here. yeah, that's pretty awesome. Pretty nice. So yeah, it's going to keep everything nice and tight on those border passes, make sure the fertilizer isn't getting beyond the tire, getting on your sidewalks, getting on your landscaping bed. So yeah, that's what's new for the Triumph. And uh, you know, I think at this point, it's the, the best machine we ever had. I'll agree. 
So there it is, 2020 Triumph. A triumph in productivity. <laughs> All right, that's great stuff. They're taking what's already, in my opinion, the most nimble machine on the market and made it even more agile and nimble to get around uh, landscaping and to make those tight turns. Good upgrades, man. I love that deflector too. I didn't come away from the GIE empty-handed. Um, Tom gave me a breakthrough agitator to put on my Let's Go spreader. And uh, right now, it's I'm in between rain showers and everything else, and I'm, I'm touching up these fescue yards and getting fertilizer out on them while they're still wet, just, just trying to get in between these showers. And so I'm using the Let's Go Summit. I've been using the breakthrough agitator on it. Pow, turns that thing into a whole nother whole nother dimension of machine people i'll show you the breakthrough agitator on the let's go you'll have to excuse the little bit of uh fertilizer left down in there but uh there's the breakthrough and if you see it's got little hooks that go down in the holes and it shakes and well uh, i gotta tighten it up <laughs> it shakes and uh clears out those holes it sits right on almost right on top of the uh of that and Man, it gets them out. All right, breakthrough agitator for the Lesco from Permagreen. Get you one or two. Or how many other Lescos you got? Again, it was just a super fun time to meet all the uh, folks at Permagreen at the GIE and uh, check out the new 2020 Permagreen. And also to meet all the, uh, the people who watched my silly YouTube channel. I was really, I was really humbled by how many people came up to me and and said that they like my junk that I do on YouTube. Something for everybody, I guess. I don't get it. But anyway, thank you to all of you. It was fantastic to meet you. And uh, there you go. Go out and get you a 2020 Permagreen. I think I want to, real bad. How much money I got. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys next time.